Hey guys, I have yet another book review for you, but before we get to that, um, we have snow and ice in Texas, and that's why I'm reading so quickly, is because we've had snow days for the past th three days. So that is why I'm reading these books so quickly. I have nothing to do. Yesterday morning, there was the power, and it was out for like four hours, and that's where I did the bulk of my reading for this next book review, and so that's why I'm reading so fast. I still have a job, and um, it's just on hold for now. But, yeah, so since I work in a school-type setting, uh, we have to go by the ISD um, closings and delays and everything, and so that's why I have so much time to read. But anyway, so the book is Stacey Cade's Ghost and the Goth, and it was really funny. I really liked it. I gave it a 4 out of 5. It's about a girl named Alana and a guy named Will. And Alana gets killed by a bus full of band geeks. And she comes back and she's obviously a ghost. And Will is the first person that can see her. And he can see ghosts. And so she wants to go to the other side because she's tired of being a ghost, obviously. And so she kind of enlists him to help her. And kind of a funny interesting twist happens but I'm not gonna explain what because that would be a spoiler but the writing was really good I really liked it the text is pretty um, easy to read like so obviously I read it very quickly um, it is like 200 and let me see here 281 pages and um, I think it was easy for me to read it because after Nightshade, which is like 400 and something, this was like a piece of cake. So, yes, I really liked it. It was definitely a breath of fresh air for me. Um, it was a very interesting plot. Um, I loved the ending. It definitely threw me, which I love because usually I can predict the endings of books so I was very very pleased when I wasn't exactly predicting what happened to Will and Alana so I was very very pleased with that I was a little hesitant at the beginning of this book because I wasn't sure how I would like Alana because I read some reviews that were very mixed about her like some of them loved her and some of them didn't love her and she thought that that she was snotty and stuck up so I wasn't sure how I was going to like it because if you don't like the heroine usually you don't really care for the rest of the book you know what I mean and so I was a little hesitant but I actually I didn't mind her too much at the beginning um and then as the novel continued to progress I actually grew to like her more and more and by the end I really liked her so I was very happy about that and I was very relieved to find out that I really did like her so and of course I love Will oh my gosh there's something about Will that I just want to put him in my pocket he is so cute and so sweet and so troubled and I think that's why I liked him so much um, I wanted to just rescue him and save him from all the mean people and all the ghosts that are attacking him. So, uh, yeah, but um, Will obviously can see ghosts, and they are very, they didn't know that at first, and then when they figured that out, the ghosts constantly were attacking him, like bombarding him with questions to have him, you know, finish their de their business so they can move on to the light and, you know, finish their unfinished business and get, send messages and, you know, all that kind of stuff. And Will was just, he, he obviously couldn't do it all. And so he um, has an iPod that he listens to and um, to kind of block out the ghosts and the noises and stuff. And then at, that gets taken away. And the poor guy just goes berserk. Um, it's so sad. But, yeah, I really loved this book. It was really good. Um, the writing was really great. And something that I didn't know about Stacey Kate is that she's older. Um, no offense to be taken, but I just thought that she was, like, in her 20s or so. So, um, it was very, it was a compliment to her because, you know, she was kind of up on the times and how, pe how teenagers were and how they talk and... So, you know how some books that you're just like, okay, you have no idea what you're talking about. Kind of like that, but um, she she did, and so I'm very, I was very pleased with that as well when I f found that out. 
But yeah, very good book, guys. I really recommend that you read it. Um, the next book is The Queen of the Dead, and it comes out in summer of this year. So um, definitely get your hands on this before that one comes out if you guys are interested in reading it. But um, yeah, it was just very refreshing um, for this one because the plot, like I said, was great. The idea is awesome. And um, I'm kind of interested in writing my own fan fiction for this book. So we'll have to see if it's, if it's on fanfiction.net so I can write about it. But because obviously I have time. <laughs> but yeah, so that is my book review. I don't think I'm missing anything. Um, the ending was great. The writing is awesome. Oh, Judy. That was one person I wanted to talk about. Um, another person on Goodreads that had mixed reviews. Um, I wasn't sure how I would like her either. And a couple of you on YouTube told me that you weren't sure about how I would like her either. But um, the ending, I kind of liked her. I understood why she was the way she was when I figured out the end, you know. And then you're, you look in hindsight and realize, oh, that's why she was acting like that. So at the beginning, I was kind of like, oh, what's up with you? But then by the end, I was like, oh, all right, I get it. So, um, other than that, I think it was just, it was great. And I love this cover. I think it's really funny. And it's actually, this guy is just how I pictured Will to look. Uh, maybe this guy's a little bit more like has more pointed features than I probably would imagine Will to have But he's still and Alana is like dead on what I pictured her to be Even um, before I saw the cover in person. I just pictured them to look like that So very awesome book loved it. You guys really need to read it. It's really funny um, There's Alana has a lot of funny one-liners in here, especially since she's so conceited. She's so conceited at the beginning. You're just like, are you serious? But it's like funny because she has no idea she's being a bitch. So it's just, it's really funny to read the beginning. Um, I really enjoyed it. And um, I think this book goes between Alana and Will's points of view. And I think I actually preferred Will's point of view over Alana's, even though Alana was very funny. I just preferred Will because I just related to him more and I just liked him more. And I felt like he had a little bit more depth than Alana did, even though Alana did have some secrets that she revealed at the in the um, middle of the book. I just felt like I related more to Will. So I, w I really wouldn't have minded if this whole book was in Will's point of view, but I can understand why she didn't because it would kind of be hard to do Alana's, you know, feelings for being dead when it's Will's point of view. But anyway, regardless, I loved, I, I really liked this book. I don't know if I loved it, but I definitely liked it a lot. So, um really good book. The ending was so sad and, and sweet and I definitely recommend that you read it guys so it's really good. Um, yeah, so that is my review. Right now I am reading like just started. I haven't started it yet but I just picked it out. I'm going to read Beautiful Darkness. So real excited about this. Um, I kind of want to get my bigger books out of the way. Um, not bigger books, but, like, well, yeah, actually, thicker books out of the way. Because once I go back to work, I find it harder and harder to, to read because I'm so busy. And so I'm taking this time to really get my big books out of the way. That way I don't have to worry about it so much, worry about finishing. So um, hopefully tomorrow will be another snow day because I have training on Saturday. And that would be amazing if we didn't have to go. <laughs> but we'll see. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching, you guys. You guys are awesome. And thank you for all the comments on my Nightshade review. That's amazing. I didn't realize that so many people were interested in reading it. So, yeah, thank you so much, you guys. And I hope you guys stay warm or stay happy wherever you guys are at. And thank you.